Hey guys, this is just another quick tip video for easily getting rid of little scratches on your tanks. Now, everyone that rides a motorcycle eventually is going to get some type of mark or scratch on their tank in this area. Now, you might be saying, well, duh, just install a tank protector. Well, yeah, I could do that. If you don't know what those are, those are clear plastic adhesive sheets that go on either the whole tank or just this front area or sometimes they're padded designs and they'll look like you know snake skins or be big black rubber pieces or whatever I mean that's all they're designed for is to protect your tank from getting scratched the problem is uh, if you're like me you think those look well ugly they're ugly they're just like a you know a car bra from the 80s remember those stupid leather things that you'd put on the the front of your car and then you don't see the front of your car anymore you see this ugly black thing that's that's how I feel about canyon cages and sliders and you know bag frames and tank protect I like to see the bike all right the bike is beautiful to me it's not beautiful when I bolt on all this crap sticking out that frankly I think looks ugly and plastic sitting on my beautiful red metal so I Again, what's the point? You're keeping it beautiful for what? The next guy to enjoy? I want to enjoy the bike. So I am more than willing to fix things as they come up, like little scratches, and enjoy the bike looking beautiful all the time. So this is how we do it. Now, what I've got, this is just from part of my jacket on this last trip. Down here, right in the middle there, you see that little tiny mark? Ah, it's hard with two hands. One hand. <laughs> right here. It's just like a, a little, little tiny, tiny smudges, tiny little abrasions. Can't feel them. I can just see them. So, you know, they're, they're in the clear coat, but they're not deep or anything. I can barely, barely feel that one with my fingertip. It doesn't catch a nail. There's no paint missing or anything like that. It's literally just abrasion in the clear coat. And then I have a horizontal scratch mark. Let me make sure I'll get you guys to see it right there. All right. Not that one you see, that's a reflection of my phone. Right, it, believe me, it's slight, I can barely see it, but it bugs me, so I want to fix it. Okay, right in the middle there. Believe me, you can see it easier in the sunlight. <laughs> um, but that's it. So, this is for real slight stuff. If you have something down into the red, frankly, you're going to have to have a, a paint shop do it. This is for just light scratches on the surface. Now the trick is start gentle and then go more abrasive. I tried cleaner wax, didn't do it. I tried polish with my random orbital, didn't do it. So now I'm gonna try scratch remover. This guy right here should do the trick. This is for light scratches only. Again, not really down into the paint color, but works very well for the clear coat. And this also works well if you goof on your random orbital and you put on some swirl marks. Or if a dealer or a quote-unquote detailer does it for you. On my wife's car, she's got a whole bunch of scratches it would be good for. And I have no idea where she gets all this crap. Let's see. Okay, you guys can see it there probably. I mean, actually this stuff is pretty deep. I don't know what she did. It's probably from doing stuff on her hood. It'll come out, it's still in the clear coat, but that's gonna take a lot more work. But they're all over her car. So, I'm not doing her car. She can have that done. She just doesn't take care of her stuff at all. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try this right now. You can do it by machine or you can do it by hand. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it by hand since it's a tiny, tiny little area. There's no point in using so much product just because you have to get it on the pad and you know, big deal. It's going to take me a few minutes of, that didn't look good, rubbing the paint. <laughs> so let's see how it comes out. And there we go. Now we just throw in a little wax, seal the area back up. Should be right as rain. Now if you have a more severe scratch to take care of, you'll obviously have to go do a more aggressive compound. But the point is, work your way gentle to aggressive. That's always safe. You're never going to do damage by going too gentle. 
And if it doesn't quite get everything out and you're doing it by hand, start with a random orbital. Buff that when it dries, and we'll be good to go. See ya!